This lecture will take a look at crate training, what it is and why it's really useful in helping to housebreak your puppy, as well as useful for the adult dog. The main purpose of crate training is to housebreak your pup because it leverages the fact that dogs are den animals and inside the crate that becomes their den. And dogs usually like to keep their dens neat and tidy, they don't like to soil inside there. So it's a useful tool to help housebreak your pup and keep them safe and out of harm's way when you're out of the house. You don't have to worry about him chewing up the furniture or getting into any trouble or hurting himself when he's inside the crate. And in a little bit of time, they get to love it and it becomes their new den. So for housebreaking the pup, what happens is once they get used to the crate, then they'll usually whine or whimper to come out so they can take care of business. So if you have a younger pup like little Jack here, when he does whine or whimper to come out, you just take him out and put him on a wee-wee pad to take care of business. If you have an older dog, you can take him out right outside. And some nice advantages of using the crate is it limits their activity from the rest of your house. They're safe in the crate. And it's a great way to transport your dog just right inside the crate if you have to put them in the car. And also you know they're safe when you go to work or you have to run errands. They're right in the crate. Here are some things to remember when using the crate. Try not to keep a pup who is under four months old in the crate for more than five hours at a time. They haven't yet learned to control their bladder or bowels yet for that length of time. And you don't ever want to use the crate as punishment because the pup will eventually come to fear it and he's going to stubbornly refuse to enter it. Also, you don't want to leave the dog in the crate too long. He needs interaction and exercise. Otherwise, he can become depressed and anxious. And if you think he's going to be in the crate for a long period of time, consider hiring a pet sitter or leaving him with another family member or a doggy daycare facility. And also, crate your dog only until you can trust him not to chew up your house or get into trouble. After that, it should be a place that they go to voluntarily. And there are several types of crates to choose from. Some are plastic, some are metal like this one, some are made of fabric, some are collapsible, and some are for the really anxious dog. They're called anti-anxiety crates. So there's a wide range to choose from. So what size crate should you get? You want to get a crate where the dog will be comfortable when he's fully grown and he's able to turn around inside. You don't want a crate that's too big because there's a chance that he may soil one end and sleep on the other. So you want to keep the crate where the dog is semi-confined a little bit and that way he will not soil his crate at all. He's going to whine or whimper to come out. And this crate comes with a divider, which is a neat thing because as the pup grows, you can add a little more room to his den. Then you want to get your pup accustomed to the crate. I put some comfy bedding in here. I put his favorite stuffed animal in there so he feels like there's somebody in there with him. And the next trick is to get him inside the crate and kind of get him used to it. A good way to help them get used to the crate is have their favorite treat on hand and just put it right inside the crate. Let him go in there for a little bit, close the door so he gets used to it. And you can just kind of reassure him through the grate here and make sure everything's okay. Right now, Jack is used to this crate. He's enjoying his little treat. But if your dog really doesn't like the crate, he starts crying a lot and whimpering, there are some tricks that you can do. You can, as I said, put the puppy's favorite stuffed animal or toy in there and it makes them feel like there's a friend in there with them. And if they continue to bark and whine to come out, don't worry, they're going to get used to it in time. Just reassure them and give them lots of affection and love. They learn that this is going to be their safe place. They'll come to this crate in times of stress or when there's a thunderstorm or loud noises. They feel very comfortable in there over time. Something else you can do is cover the grate with a blanket or a towel to keep some of the excess light out of there and actually make it feel like it's got some walls and it's more of a den for him. Or for the real stubborn dog, you can take the whole crate and put it right on your bed when you're sleeping so the dog knows that you're right there near him and he can listen to you breathe, he can smell your scent a little better, he'll feel even more secure. And you can try playing some soothing music to help keep him relaxed. And when he gets really comfortable with the crate, you can actually introduce a command and say something like kennel time and point him to the inside and maybe drop a treat in there too, along with lots of praise, to help solidify that command. 
and then he should start walking in there as soon as you say kennel time.